Expectations from these workers are high as they leave for Australia, not just as mere workers, but as ambassadors of the country as well. Our main emphasis is to try to take them overseas to work for this group will be working for four months in Victoria. Hopefully they will be able to generate enough income for them uh, to save money and come back to their villages, to their settlement and be able to start something small. Hopefully create uh, some uh, opportunity for them to start uh, SMEs. Despite recent incidents of workers overstaying in the host countries or alleged abuses, Correia Lavesso says feedback from the employers have been good so far. It's basically the interpretation of the workers that have gone there. Uh, they basically did not have the, uh, the, the ability to be able to perform physical work. They're going to perform physical work and they know that themselves. And all the work that they will do will be based on uh, performance. It's, they will be paid on the amount of work that they are able to, to do in a, work, you know, in a day. Corella Vesau says it's entirely up to these workers on how they will utilize the money they have earned upon return. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, that is beyond us. We don't have the, that machinery to be able to monitor them. But my brief today, will, I will give them. This is uh, my view in what you can do when you come back to Fiji. 116 workers are currently working in Australia and New Zealand under this scheme. Ali Teshtak, Fiji One News.